Hey everyone, welcome back to How Stuff in My Car Works. This is Jade, and today I'm going to be showing you how to check the compression on your engine. This is a universal concept that we're using today, and our special car that we're going to be using is Bing Bing the Beetle, as always. So, yes, the Beetle has a lot to work on, but it's still really efficient on the stuff we get to do all the time in these videos. So the advantage of knowing how to do this is because if there was a misfire on your cylinder and you didn't find any possibilities, then most likely it will lead to the cylinder again that it doesn't have any compression on it. So this is why I'm going to be showing you how to do it in case that ever occurred. So of course we're going to be using a compression tester with a ratchet extension, a spark plug socket. So next we're going to be using a spark plug wire plier and then a remote starter. So. so these are the tools we're going to be using today. So as you can see, I've already connected the remote starter. Okay, so I didn't show you these steps because you can accomplish the same task with having an assistant turning your engine over. So if you're going to be doing that, then you need to remember to remove the fuel pump fuse so the engine won't start on you. So first, we're going to be removing the spark plug wire. So we're going to be using the pliers. So the further down you get it, um, the closer you can get it uh, taken off. All right. So this is what it'll look like. Just set it aside. So next, we're going to be using the ratchet and extension to remove the spark plug. So then after that, you can now choose which adapter will fit best for you. And with that, we're going to be threading it through the spark club cavity. And so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Let's see. Alright, and when it doesn't turn anymore, it means it's tightly adjusted. So then after that, we're going to be needing the compression tester. And with this, at the end, it's an easy, quick connector. And you're just going to have to be pulling, you're just going to be pulling and attaching and then letting go. And it'll be secure. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So like I said, pull, connect, let go, and it's adjusted exactly, and it's also secure. So once the compression tester is connected, now we can use the remote starter. Um, but if you don't have this option, remember you could also have an assistant turn over the engine for you. So before we start it, uh, we got to make sure the gauge is at zero, which it is. So we are good to move on. So when you're ready, press the button. And that's how you know it works. By looking at the gauge, now I know that it's at 162 PSI, approximately. Basically, this is good. But usually any cylinder, it should be at least to 100 PSI. If it's anything lower than that, it means there's something wrong with it. So if it's anything lower than 100, then that's your answer. It also is probably the reason why there's a misfire on your cylinder. So when you're done testing the cylinder, you can now just release the pressure by clicking on this button. Got it. 
So stay tuned for next week. I'm going to be showing you some fun stuff. The last thing I want to mention is a quote. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Other than that, I hope you all have a nice day. Bye-bye. So to release the pressure, you can just push this button. <laughs> 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 it's a